Simon? Is that you? David, it's good to see you. I haven't seen you forever. When did we last see each other? Man, Mauthausen, I think. I didn't think we would ever make it out of there. Dead or alive. Every minute felt like an hour. Mm. And every hour was a day. When the Americans arrived, the joy. You never told me. How did you end up in Mauthausen? If you don't mind me asking, of course. It all started after the Nazis made a treaty with Russia. Let's sit on the bench. Back in 1942, my wife Celia and I were placed in forced labor at German Eastern Railway plants. By September, 82 members of my family perished. Say, Sila, we need to get out of here. Let's say you are not a Jew. No! I don't want to leave you! Yes, you must. You cannot stay here. You are blonde and you can pass as an Aryan. But! No! You have no say in this. I have already made a deal with the Polish underground. The only thing that they asked in return was detailed charts of the railroad. They, bring, they will bring your papers tomorrow. <laughs> After the Polish took my wife away, I thought I'd never see her again, but that's besides the point. I was transported to the Ausbahn, where I escaped with the help of the deputy director in 1943. <laughs> Na sicher, ich habe meine Uhr und meinen Gutsan, aber ich habe nichts mehr. Das ist gut, sie müssen warten bis die Auswahl und ich werde sie studieren, aber der Rest ist bis zu ihnen. Not very long after, in June 1944, I was recaptured, but this time sent to Janowska. I would have certainly died if the German Eastern Front had not collapsed. The Red Army came to liberate the camp. The SS officers liquidated the camp except for a select few. We were the unlucky ones. We had to trek through more camps and our end goal was Mauthausen, where I met you. And that's it. Oh. I never realized. It's not that bad. You get used to it after a while. <laughs> yeah, tell me about it. You must have had it pretty messed up life too. All Jews my age had a messed up life. You can say that again. My life I was actually pretty normal until France fell. I was actually even in the army. <laughs> Is it true that your weapons are just white flags? No, nah, we just had to use bed sheets. <laughs> nice. So how did you end up in that godforsaken camp? For me, it starts when I moved to Paris as an artist. To the Montparnasse district, where I worked for the film industry, where I created costumes, sets, and posters for Paramount Pictures. When World War II started, I was drafted into the French army, but the army was quickly defeated, like usual, and I returned to Paris. I knew that the Gestapo would eventually find me, and when they did, I still wasn't prepared. On February 20th, 1943, I was sent to the Durante camp, which I, is now known as the waiting room for Auschwitz. Two weeks later, on March 2nd, I was put on transport 49 with a thousand other Jews. When we arrived at Auschwitz, my torture began. Dude! Come here, schneller! Er? Ich habe gehört, dass du viele Sprachen sprichst. Ja, mein Herr, ich kann Polnisch, Französisch und Deutsch sprechen. Gut, ich habe einen besonderen Job für dich. Du wirst ein Übersetzer sein und ich habe auch gehört, dass du ein Künstler bist. Ja, ich bin ein Künstler. Dann sollst du Bilder von den Offizieren für ihre Familie malen. Du wirst ein Sonderkommando sein. What I didn't know was that a Sonderkommando had to watch the killing of thousands of Jews and then had to bury and burn the bodies of the dead after stripping them of valuables. Between my duties as a Sonderkommando and the officers making me draw for their families, I had very little downtime. But when I did, I would have time, I would paint pictures of the atrocities in Auschwitz. Every day, I was forced to. I paint to document the horrors I experienced. That seems a lot more relaxing than hunting those bastards who caused their pain. I bet it doesn't bring it back as many memories, though. That's true, but still. To paint, I must bring myself back to when I was forced to murder my brethren. Then why do you do it? 
so the world never forgets the inhumanity of those hellish years. Isn't it that similar to why you hunt Nazis? Yes, but I mainly do it so that they may face justice. Well, I have to go now. I need to fly to Israel to try the dog Adolf Eichmann. Well, it was nice seeing you. Good luck with your trial. Thank you, and good luck with your art. Wank.